Alright folks, welcome to another beer review. Apologies for the uh, air fryer going off in the background. Just do myself some Iceland salt and pepper chicken and we're going to have it, this is for me lunch tomorrow, going to have it with a salt and pepper potato salad. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, so while I'm cooking, I thought I'd have a beer, even though I've already had a couple tonight. So today we're going back over to, is it pronounced Guaylo or Guaylo? I'm not too sure. And this is a, a new Neon Jungle IPA, vibrantly redefining. Uh, obviously these guys are based in Hong Kong, 5.5% ABV, so a lower ABV IPA. And this is brewed with wheat, oats, and then Idaho 7 and Citra. And I tell you what, I absolutely love that artwork. One of my goals is to go to basically anywhere in Asia. Um, I just love the, the neon signs. I like the closed in sort of um, back alley markets. The vibrancy of those sorts of cities. Um, if you've ever watched Enter the Void by Gaspar Noé, I just love the idea of being an expat, living in any country, and then just like neon lights bleeding through my apartment window, as if I'm in Blade Runner or something like that, or Akira. So beautiful, beautiful photographic label. Picked this up from Asda. Also picked up uh, an alcoholic ginger beer from these guys. And of course, they've uh, released NFT number two, which they brewed in collaboration with Salt, which I will be reviewing at some point. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get um, NFT number one, because I think that would be an interesting comparison. I haven't watched it yet, but I think Beer Dad has done that video. Finger always on the pulse. So yeah, let's see what we get with this. First of all, that is a very, very bright looking IPA. Almost reminds me of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Cloudy. One finger's worth of a nice white foamy head. A little bit agitated that it doesn't go all the way to the top of the glass, but I've used this glass plenty of times, and if I want to go for the aesthetic for the beer review, well, first of all, I'd have to lose a lot of weight, uh, but secondly, you'd think I'd get a much more suitable glass. But by the time I've finished the review and I've taken a photo for the thumbnail, there's probably going to be about like that much left anyway. So yeah, looking very nice indeed. Let's see what we get on the nose. Oh, it's got this soft, sweet lemon curd sort of aroma. A little bit of a freshly rinsed blueberry. Subtle hint of like a pineapple. Oh, it just smells so nice and sweet and, but not sickly sweet. Smelling just really nice and vibrant. It really, really does. Anyway, without further ado, or any further ado, let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. That is lovely. It's got a little bit of a tangy, I don't want to say acidic, but there's like a little bit of an acidity to it. Like a sweetened lemon juice. But then it's got that, a very subtle, I just spat then, uh, a very subtle, almost passion fruit like twang to it, but not too overbearingly so which I do find a lot when even like a hop is tasting like passion fruit, it can be a little bit too much. Nice soft pillowy mouthfeel. I 
And the the thing that instantly springs to mind is lemon tart. It's the the right amount of sweetness to this, where it lifts the beer. Excuse me. But also, it doesn't make it too overwhelmingly sweet. Remarkably drinkable. Oh, that's just, that's absolutely tip top. It really, really is. And again, it's like, I think I said this, which I don't know when it'll be uploaded, but I did um, a North beer continuum which was not in your face with its hoppy character but the flavors you get muted isn't the word but it's not in your face it's not like overtly hoppy as such but it's one of those beers that you just want to take another sip and you just want to sit and enjoy and lemon, I'm just getting like lemon across the board with this. Even on the finish, very, very gentle bitterness. There's a little bit of bitterness there, but it's the, it's got that slight acidity of lemon juice as well. And do you know what? If I had a beer like this and I was sat outside and this was my view, I'd be a very, very happy man indeed. Like, I'm not sure if this is photoshopped or if it's just one of those hectic yet cosy like Hong Kong streets. It's just the, the aesthetic of neon is always, always satisfying. And yeah, I just can't help but think of the likes of Akira, which is a great film, and also Enter the Void, which it's not my favourite Gaspar Noé film but it's an experience nonetheless. And this is a great beer to just enjoy a film with. Get a couple of cans of that. Very happy with that. We'll definitely be picking up another can of that next time we go to Asda. And um, yeah, with it being a bit more sunny, these are the sorts of IPAs and beers that you want to drink. Really refreshing, nice and zesty. Just the right amount of sweetness, just the right amount of acidity, nice gentle body, very gentle bitterness on the back end, and all in all, just a really, really nice beer. So if you've tried this or anything else from the brewery, then let me know your thoughts, opinions down below when it focuses. And of course, there will be um, links in the description below as well. So thank you for watching. You all take care, stay safe, and I shall hopefully see you in the next beer review. Under 10 minutes, smashing it.